Hi, this is Dr. Shannon Wong. I'm an ophthalmologist in Austin, Texas. I'm going to demonstrate a case where we did an iris suture fixation of a three-piece technus multifocal lens implant, and the patient did quite well. The original situation that uh, arose was the patient, during his primary cataract surgery, had a open capsule, which uh, we elected to put the three-piece technus multifocal in the sulcus, but uh, on post-op day one, the lens appeared to be subluxed. So we elected to take the patient back to the operating room and suture fixate this uh, three-piece technus multifocal lens to the iris. Here we have prolapsed the optic anterior to the iris plane. Uh, the pupil is semi-dilated and we make sure the optic is anterior to the iris plane and that the haptics are in the sulcus. Once the lens has been positioned in this configuration, we infuse a meiotic agent to constrict the pupil so the optic remains anterior to the iris uh, while we suture the haptics in place. We use a generous amount of viscoelastic to protect the corneal endothelium. Here we're introducing the meiotic agent. And as you can see, the pupil comes down nicely. And then we position the lens implant so that we know exactly where the iris, uh, excuse me, where the haptics are below the iris. We use a tenno nylon suture on a long needle. And we provide counter traction with a micro instrument. In this case, it was a Lester pusher. <clears throat> I'm entering through a pre-made one millimeter opening and exiting through a pre-made one millimeter opening that we created initially. We do the same thing for the uh, inferior haptic here. Enter with a long needle affixed to tenoproline. We have created uh, two paracentesis openings, essentially, in this case at uh, 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock. So now <clears throat> both haptics have been captured by the tenoproline entering through iris, going underneath the haptic, exiting out of the iris. <clears throat> and then we do a seepser sliding slip knot which I'll try to demonstrate in this video. We use the Lester pusher to grab internally one side of, uh, or the proline that's on one side of the haptic and pull it out through our opening. We pull it to make a, a loop. And then we just grab one half of the loop and do three throws and then grab the free end of the proximal suture. So we're essentially creating a knot externally and then pulling it internally. And then the moment of truth is when you pull the opposite end of the suture, the knot moves inside the eye and comes into position to secure the haptic. 
we do the same thing on the opposite side. where we've already exteriorized a loop from the suture on the left side, brought it out the right side, do, a, do three throws, and then pull the left side, and the knot goes from the outside to the inside, and it secures the haptic here. Once we <coughs> secure the haptic on each side, then we proceed with uh, pu with pushing the optic uh, into the sulcus posterior to the iris plane. And at this point, the iris looks somewhat like a cat eye, but it does tend to become more round at the conclusion of the case, which I'll demonstrate. So here I'm making the second throw. Again, we exteriorize a loop from within the eye. In this case, we make two throws and then grab the right side of the suture and then pull it internally. And I make a total of three, three knots per side to secure the haptic. We've edited the video, obviously, to save some time. This is the last throw for the bottom haptic. So we do three throws per haptic, and then we use micro scissors to trim the loose ends of the of the suture. We go ahead and do irrigation and aspiration to remove the viscoelastic, and at the end of the case, we just have BSS in the eye, and you can see how nice and round this pupil is. And then as a final check, we zoom in on the optic and make sure that the lens implant is well-centered. We have the patient look at the microscope light, and as you can see here, this lens implant is essentially perfectly centered. So we've got a difficult situation where we had an open capsule and a multifocal lens, but this multifocal lens is in the posterior chamber, well-centered, and the patient did great. Thank you for your time and attention. I hope you enjoyed this video.